This is old John um, Harrison 4803 channel. Uh, because of a of a subscriber, well, I'm not sure if he's a subscriber, but anyway, uh, because of comments from one of the people vo visiting my site, uh, I'm looking, trying to look at the exhaust port on my Ryobi uh, weed eater. Um, he referenced another video where a guy cleaned one on a different piece of equipment, so I'm going to do that now. And basically, to get to that point, you need to turn your Ryobi on its side. And I've already loosened things, so they're wanting to come off here. But basically, you pull this cover plate off, and it has screws. I'm using this star bit. That's four screws here. Whoops. There goes falling off. Four of them. And then the you have to take the exhaust, um, the muffler and so forth off. It has long screws that go down through here like this. And on this Ryobi, this one here is covered up by this grill work, this plastic grill work. And the only way to get this off, this housing here, is literally take screws out here. And then you have to fool with getting the pull cord back in and synchronized. It's a mess. So I just cut me a little hole here in this grill, which I know has no effect whatsoever. So I could then get my, my um, bit into it and take it off. So anyway, we have to take off the muffler. And it has three components to it, and a gasket on the back, and then that puts us over the exhaust into the muffler. And we're looking inside now. If you pull on the, okay, let me keep this from falling over. If you look into the exhaust hole and you pull the string, you can see the piston moving up and down. I think you can see that. Anyway, so this is the exhaust port that was referenced that gets plugged up sometimes. And let's try shining up flashlight in there. And I really don't see that much obstruction. There's just a light coating of a kind of a little carbon on the bottom side right there. So I might clean that off. I'm just probably going to scrape it off with a uh, screwdriver. I'm going to try to keep it from falling into the cylinder. That would not be good. So I'll scrape that off and see if that helps. So thanks to the guy and I'll put his name. It's uh, it was linked on my other video on how to clean the spark arrestor, which you have to get to the same point. Uh, and the spark arrestor is on the underside of this um, muffler. So anyway, kudos to him for pointing this out. I'll let you know if it makes a difference when you clean it off, but that's that's the way you do it. So just get your screwdriver or something and scrape in here and see what happens. So that's all for now, YouTubers. Old John, signing off.